what's up you guys this is february 27 to march 5th of tarot of the week so i'm gonna intuitively break down in the tarot cards to see what are some messages that as a collective we need to know and some guidance and advice for this week ahead so stay tuned and take what resonates leave what does not for somebody else <laughs> What's up, you guys? So it is Monday, February 27th. We get two days left of February and then we're in March. So we're still in Pisces season and Saturn is wrapping up the end of its cycle in Aquarius and going to be heading into Pisces pretty soon. So 29 degrees is very important degree in astrology so saturn is about putting that pressure on this 29 degrees so this week can really feel like it's filled with pressure to really wrap a lot of things up so look at where do you have saturn in your chart and uh, see where aquarius lies to get a better perspective of like how this is really wrapping up for you and where that pressure is really being put at so you can use that to your best you know, your best ability. Um, and then we have a full moon in uh, Virgo coming up pretty soon. So but we're not going to get into that in this video, but it is approaching. So you'll probably feel the effects of that full moon towards the end of the week. So we're going to pull out some cards starting with the right away deck. We'll probably use the modern witch tarot as well. As always, make sure that you like, comment and subscribe to my channel follow me on all of my social media platforms if you haven't yet and if you really like this reading you can send a tip in the description box I have links to all of my social media platforms and if you'd like to send a tip that is in there as well and last week's predictions if you want to see what I had you know intuitively pulled and what came true for you so subscribe if you haven't yet I'm almost monetized and like this video to really boost in the algorithm help me help you with creating these videos so we're going to see for the collective i want to know what are some messages for this week what can we all expect we get the four of swords and the queen of wands <clears throat> so you're going to really want to get grounded in the beginning of this week you're going to really want to get grounded because it seems like there's a lot of chaos going on and there is a lack of out of control but what you can't control is your inner world and this is why you need to get grounded you need to do breath work you need to meditate you need to rest you need to call your power back to yourself with that queen of wands you need to call your uniqueness back within that power that you may have not realized you have been given away four is about stability but this is a mental stability so there could be a lot of mental chatter happening in the beginning of the week. We do have the moon in Gemini, so that can cause a lot of mental chatter. But this right here is saying, in the beginning of the week, really ground yourself and call your power back to whatever you've been putting out. <clears throat> you know, and, and especially with that breath work is going to be really important. So doing breathing meditations or even just sitting and being, okay? Just sitting and being and realizing that it's just this, I keep getting like this calling your power back to yourself and being sturdy within that. There's a lot of alone time too. I think a lot of people are going to be more secluded in, in, in like this solitary environment. I guess I don't know what the word is, but just wanting to be alone. Again, with this so much happening on the outside, you can't, yeah, look. There's so much chaos on the outside you have no control over. It looks like it could be a legal, um, something with a document. So this could be a divorce. This could be legal paperwork. This could be moving. This could be some kind of legal document where you're going to be given some type of news regarding that this week. And that is going to change and shake up a lot of things this is closing out something so like i said with this it could be a divorce maybe you're finalizing a divorce um or you're ending a contract of some sort is what's happening this week there's some kind of ending of a contract and it may feel like you're taking a step back because we're going from 11 to 10 so with the justice and then the wheel of fortune so it may feel like i'm taking a step back and 
it's like back to that I have no control of this situation kind of thing. But that's why in the beginning of the week, it's going to be really important to ground yourself and feel like you are in this mentally stable place with doing that meditation work, that breath work, whatever it is to make going outside in nature and being one with the wind is what I'm hearing too. Wherever the wind, the direction of the wind is blowing in, follow that. I don't know. You're on this channel, you know I'm a little woo-woo, so follow the sound, I was going to say sound of the wind, the direction of the wind. I mean, hell, even listen, pay attention to sounds I'm hearing too. There could be sounds going off, there could be some kind of alarm you hear, or um, birds chirping, there's going to be some kind of sound, and I don't think other people are going to be aware of um, hearing it, it might be something quick, and you'll be like, what? Did you hear that? Um, pay attention to whatever's happening, okay? Pay attention to the sounds around you. There's going to be a message in that too. It's, it's It has a lot to do with air stuff, air energy. So you're here, you're hearing it. Ears may ring a lot this week. Um, that could be your uh, spirit team, your angels, your ancestors, the unseen communicating with you. Trust your intuition okay really trust your intuition this week and really pay attention to the sounds that you're hearing definitely really pay attention to the sounds of what you're hearing there may be something too with like animals there may be like a cat um something about a cat but this could be you know again cats are about um power C calling your own power back to yourself being swift being mischievous being powerful so that kind of, um, you know, and being very balanced and meticulous, careful, really good at hunting, like get, going after what it is that you want when you see something, going after it. Um, so something about a cat. So it could be like tapping into like cat-like energy or you could be surrounded more by cats. So it could be something with a cat. You could see a cat. Just pay attention. Pay attention to that kind of stuff. Um, it may not be what it usually is because there's a lot of signs that have already be, been in front of your face I'm hearing the signs have always been in front of your face it's about now you're able to realize it because you're in a different place you're more aware we're in Pisces season two so that makes it so much easier to really pay attention to the stuff that's already been in front of us and being like oh it's like a deep spiritual intuitive psychic connection that I'm picking up on. So really, that's what I'm saying. Pay attention to the signs around you. All right. Let's see. We're only at four cards right now. Seven minutes into this video, we're at four cards. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Full card coming out. That's hilarious. We went from the 10 to the zero. So yeah, this is something is ending for something to begin. There is something that we're wrapping up. And it is a very big deal. It is a very big deal. It's a very transitional period. It's call, You're calling in for some type of companionship and support to help you through this time. There may be some kind of challenge that you're presented with, right? And you, you got it. You'll be able to take on this challenge because you're going to have that support around you. Okay, you're not going to be alone. I'm hearing that you are not going to be alone. You're never you're not going to be alone this week. You're going to have your support team. You're going to have that companionship um, pushing you and, and just supporting you to get you ready for this next step. Not even get you ready because you're going to I feel like there's some kind of thing that you're going to be like, oh, kind of like forced into something new to take on. But you have this support group with you. Something about packing, packing, packing things up, packing things up. So pay attention to packing things up, whatever that could mean. And now we got the Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, and the Five of Wands. So you could be challenged this week. There could be some type of conversation or argument. See, my ear's ringing. So there could be some overpowering kind of energy from somebody who may come off immature um this could be an air sign so this could be a gemini libra aquarius doesn't have to be but it could be and they could be bringing in a challenge to 
make you feel like you're on the defense and they may have some type of ulterior motives with that five of wands coming out okay so what you need to do is something about research do your research it looks like you're going to want to respond to something right away maybe you're going to have the pressure on you to respond to something right away when you're not ready to that five of wands you're not ready to it might not be the best time to respond but maybe you're going to be put in a position where you have to and you really don't want to and this is where it's going to, yeah, with that Knight of Wands. Yeah, there's going to be something that you're going to have to respond to or deal with. This could be some type of paperwork, documents, whatever. Um, something you're not going to want to deal with. Or you're not ready to. You feel like you're not ready to. But that Five of that five of Wands, man, is really coming in as like, it's time to, things are changing. Times are changing. The tides are changing. And that Knight of Wands coming out. We got, <laughs> two coins in the world you're really wrapping something up and you're feeling like things feel very hectic you feel like you're having to juggle a lot of things you, you something with like a calendar needing to reschedule things you needing to move things around you feel like you're not ready you feel overwhelmed but it's like it's time to close this chapter out with the world card okay it's time to close this chapter out because you got to remember we got the full we got um, the Wheel of Fortune in the world. This is seriously, I mean, and like I said, we're approaching that full moon. You guys, we're approaching that full moon in Virgo. So this is really closing something out. Seriously. There's something that is out of balance that needs to be restored. We get the Two of Coins and the Justice card. It's really talking about bringing in some kind of balance. It really is. In the beginning of the reading, we got that Four of Swords. We need to be able to call our power back to see what we can mentally be in charge of and feel stable in. There's so much chaos going on around us. We feel overwhelmed. We have like no control over anything. But you got to remember, come back to that Four of Swords. Come back to finding that inner peace within yourself. Because all this stuff on the outside, you may have no control over. So it's like, this is easier like said than done to have this thought process. But if you have no control over the situation, what is the point of stressing out about it? That's what the Four Swords is coming in and reminding us. You got no control over the situation. What are you stressing out about for? And it's like the universe is stepping in and saying, we need to make these changes. These things need to end. You have a lot of better opportunities coming your way in the future but we have to close a lot of this stuff out and so you're going to be put through this challenge this week um but you have the support so it's like you got to look at the take the bad with the good you have the support you're moving in a direction of you, you know it's like you got a new value you got to get the coin two of coins right here it's like you have these old habits and values and then you have these new ones and it's like how can I juggle the old self with the new self? There's a lot of stuff you're going to have to let go of. The Wheel of Fortune. There's a lot of stuff you're going to have to let go of. And you need to come to this place of being able to accept and embrace the changes and phases in life. Because nothing ever does stay. And if it did, it would be boring. You know what I mean? Um, but when it's happening to you in that moment, it can feel a little overwhelming. But because we're ending, at least with this deck, with that um and at the bottom of the deck i was going to say i was going to talk about the the world but at the bottom of the deck we have the empress cod that is the hidden message of the week you lack nothing you lack nothing there are so many creative outlets and ways to execute all of the stuff that you have there's so many resources there's so many things that you can do on your own and this is going to push you to create to get that creative thing going, to have, you know, to make what you want to have happen. The pressure's on. This could even have to do with, like, if you're an entrepreneur and you had a goal that you set, you know what I mean? And it's like, now this week, the pressure is on. You're being challenged. You put, you know, you said you were going to meet this goal or whatever it is. And now it's like the Empress is coming out saying, you can do what you said you were going to do. You got to just get a little bit more creative and you can put that in there. Maybe you've been sitting back a little bit too much and now it's like the pressure's on.
put in that action, put in that work, things are going to work out. If this isn't, um, it's almost like it's a towel moment, but it's not. It's, it's a, it's, it's a challenge. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted, man. I'm going to pull a couple of cards from the Modern Witch deck, and then we're going to wrap up this reading, you guys. So let's just see if there's anything else we need to know for this week ahead. Everything happening. Page of Wands. Yeah, it's time to take on this new opportunity. It's time to reach out. It's time to put the action into something new. It's time to plant that seed. It's something that you want. This is something you that is near and dear to you. This is something exciting. This is something you're passionate about. You don't you may feel like it's like this fear of failure. Fear of what if I'm not good enough in this comparison kind of thing that's happening too. Don't compare yourself. This is your own journey. You have your own things to overcome and figure out, but you're never going to get there unless you put your foot in the door. Step out there. I just said a tower moment, but we got the tower card and the fool. So yeah, there's some really abrupt changes happening this week, but look, we're ending with the fool. Second time we got this card. That's going to be the theme of the week is the fool card. It is time for new beginnings. It's time for changes. And it's time to realize that we're cycling back into something because it's ruled by zero. So it shows that everything is connected somehow. So you got to recycle some things out to have some new things come in. And you really got to be optimistic. You have to be optimistic. You have to believe you can do this with that page of wands. Don't allow that fear of missing out, um, fear of failure thing. Take that chance. You have the tower card coming in saying things are changing and it's out of your control. But with that full card coming out after, it's like you have the support. You have the, the positive outlook, the optimism. You have the companionship. You have the right support and the people in your corner. Because I feel like you've recycled out a lot of old crap. And going back to the two of pentacles, we're juggling, okay? We're not completely done with recycling out some stuff, but we're figuring out, okay, now that I've done all this stuff, how do I really incorporate all of these things in now where I'm at? Finding that inner peace is going to be the key to everything, to have that optimistic outlook, because I feel like we're really getting, this, this week is going to feel um, crazy, but... I think this is preparing us for something big to happen coming afterwards. So there's a lot of energy. There's a lot of things happening. There's a lot of changes. There's a lot of challenges. But we can take this. Like, look how open she is. She's open. She's ready. She's like, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for something new. Because it's like, I've already been through all this stuff. It's almost like I hit rock bottom. So it's like, all right, now I'm ready to come out of this and take everything on because I've dealt with all this crap. Now I know the things to be aware of, the things to look out for. And again, you've got the support. You have the support. You're not alone. Okay. Really ground yourself the beginning of this week because it's going to benefit you so much with coming to that mental clarity space. And talk to talk talk to the people that really support you. Reach out. This is saying reach out. We had all those swords and then those wands for the personalities. So this is quick communication. This is people being there. This is, you know, you need help, I got you. You need help with this, I got you. Um, and, and giving advice and some type of guidance. And, and it's like, okay, I can put you in this direction to make things make sense. This is the kind of support you're going to need this week, and you have it. So reach out to those that, you know, just do it. Just reach out to the people that need help. If you made it this far, you guys, please comment an air emoji. You know, the one where it's like blowing an air emoji and a sword to, to really represent that breath work and that communication, working through the stuff, working through the changes. And if you want to share how this reading resonated Please do down below also with those, those emojis just so I know you made it that far and share with somebody you think would be interested or even needs to hear this message. And I'll see you guys next week.